Hey everybody, we're going to do something really quick tonight. It's a uh, classic, very versatile, very tasty sauce from Italy called puttanesca sauce. Uh, I've already got some olive oil here in the bottom of the pan. It's shimmering. What I'm going to do first here is I'm going to put in four uh, cloves sliced, of sliced garlic. It's going to start to simmer. It's going to just start to release the flavor. It's on medium high. I don't want it to burn. So almost immediately, I'm going to put in the tomato. That was two cups of uh, fresh tomato, fresh plum tomato that I uh, um, blanched, peeled, de-seeded, and then chopped up. So put that in here. And then I'm going to add a little bit of red wine. So I got to keep this at medium high because it's going to cook very, very quickly. There's no reason for this to take a long time. So I'm going to crank it up and we're going to make sure that it gets nice and hot. Okay, so now this is going to be simmering for a while. Um, it's boiling almost. In fact, what it's doing, is it's, it's breaking down the tomato. It's releasing some of the liquid from it. I uh, put the wine in. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add about a quarter cup of capers and a half cup of Kalamata olives. They were uh, uh, pit, pitted olives quartered. Put that in here too. Some basil and parsley. You can use other herbs too if you want. You can use a little mint. It's not going to taste minty if you use a little bit of mint. So I've got this going now and I'm really going to crank it up because I really want to get it cooking. I want to get the water to come out of it. Okay, what now I'm going to put in some anchovy. This is four anchovy fillets uh, cut up. Don't be afraid of it. Don't leave it out. It's not going to taste like anchovy. It's not going to come and, you know, be, get this big anchovy flavor, but it just adds a nice layer. You've heard the term umami. It adds, it adds a nice little bit of umami to it. So I've got that going. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a lot of black pepper. Okay. Let's crank, crank a bunch of that in here. Okay, got that in. You can, uh, I don't know if you see here, it's, it's bubbling nicely, it's cooking down. So this is going to cook for probably about, you know, three minutes or so. That's all it's going to take at high cooking, you know, cook the tomatoes. You just want to get the tomatoes cooked. So about three more minutes, four more minutes, and it's going to be ready to go. What you're going to do after that once you get it cooked down some and you get some of the water cooked out of it and you get the alcohol cooked out of the wine, you're going to want to taste it. Decide you probably are not going to need salt because the anchovy is salty, the capers are salty, the Kalamata olives are salty. So all you're going to do is cook this down. Once it's cooked down, it's ready to go. A lot of use to this is traditionally served with uh, fish, like on top of a piece of tuna. Tuna puttanesca is a, a classic. Um, you can put it all over, you can put it on any kind of fish too, if you want to put it over grilled halibut or whatever it may be, or you can just serve it on pasta. So that's a quick recipe for tonight. That's uh, puttanesca sauce. It's traditional Italian, and it's, like I said, very versatile, and you'll have fun with it. Thank you.